Hello and welcome to another Lifter LMS release. Today we're coming at you with Lifter LMS version 1.5. It's January 21st, I believe. Is that right, Thomas? 22nd. <laughs> okay. Just a day off. Um, <laughs> in this release, this is just a release to focus on one key area of Lifter LMS, which is our uh, WooCommerce integration, which is totally optional, but some people use it. And we're just going to give you a little quick overview of what's, what's in this 1.5.0. There's two main areas that we focused on. One was to allow, if you're doing a multi-course checkout through WooCommerce, to make that process better. And the other was to have some smarter logic in Lifter LMS to determine if you end up on a course and into the checkout flow, whether we need to go to Lifter LMS's cart or go to the Woo cart. But Thomas, thanks a lot for the great update. Tell us, tell us a little more about it. What, what's it all about? Uh, yeah, so uh, th there's a handful of other smaller little miscellaneous performance improvements and things bundled in as well. Uh, but the exciting things, like Chris said, are going to be the checkout screen uh, logic and then um, the, uh, the ability to, to purchase more than one thing at a time using the WooCommerce card. So the first thing we've created is, uh, is an enhancement that uh, smartly determines through the existing SKU matching logic uh, which cart to take you to. So if you, if you enable the WooCommerce uh, integration, you'll now essentially have two shopping carts that you can work with. The, uh, the Lifter LMS checkout page, which comes stock with Lifter LMS, um, and then your, your WooCommerce cart, and then the WooCommerce checkout pages. Um, so uh, now, uh, previously, we, we would advise people to only use um, the WooCommerce product page in order to prevent any confusion on your user side because you could still technically buy a Lifter LMS product through the Lifter LMS uh, cart. Because they can work side by side. Yeah, so they could work side by side. But now we've made it so um, your user has to do less guesswork and uh, the user experience for creating your course and the, the, the particular funnel you want to drop users into becomes a little bit simpler. Uh, in that if you SKU match a Lifter LMS course uh, or membership, to a WooCommerce product, um, when the user clicks that take course or join this membership button, uh, if it is SKU matched to a product, it'll automatically add that product to the cart and redirect your user to the cart. So now you can use your membership uh, sales page or your course sales page generated by Lifter LMS um, or your WooCommerce product page uh, generated by WooCommerce. And regardless of which funnel your user enters through, uh, they'll end up on the same place if you enable the WooCommerce extension, which will be that WooCommerce shopping cart. Um, so that's the, the one major enhancement. And the second one, um, is, uh, that previously we would only allow, um, WooCommerce checkout to create one lifter LMS uh, order. So, so the way it was working previous, or the way it works, and this is due to Lifter LMS architecture, because we don't technically have a shopping cart in Lifter LMS. We have a checkout screen. Uh, you can't buy three, four, five Lifter LMS um, courses at the same time. You buy them one at a time. That's just the way Lifter LMS works. Uh, but WooCommerce is a shopping cart. So it, with a shopping cart, you could drop five courses in there. Uh, and when you check out, you expect that your, your student would then be enrolled in those five courses. Um, so we've now made that possible. Um, and uh, the underlying architecture has stayed exactly the same for Lifter LMS. So anything that happened previously doesn't change. Um, we've just, we're just now looping through every item in the cart, uh, matching it by SKU. Uh, so if there is a WooCommerce product in your cart that has a matching Lifter LMS product, that's either a membership or a course, uh, it'll create a Lifter LMS order, which essentially enrolls that student in the course or membership um, during that checkout. Um, so this will allow you to check out with as many courses and or memberships as you want, as well as as many uh, non-Lifter LMS products. So for those of you that are using Lifter LMS to sell, sell t-shirts, um, and you have courses that you're selling through 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 WooCommerce. Uh, you can uh, those T-shirts obviously aren't going to be associated with a course. Um, they have no SKU matching or whatever, so there won't be any issues with checking out with non-Lifter LMS products either. Um, you can mix and match, put as many things as you want in your cart as possible, um, and check out, and everybody will be enrolled in everything. That's awesome. Well, thank you for the update, Thomas. And if this is your first time finding us, and you're kind of new to Lifter LMS. Uh, just to be clear, Lifter LMS does have its own cart functionality. It works with PayPal out of the box. We also have a Stripe extension that a lot of our 
uh, users use so that they can accept credit cards directly on their Lyft or LMS checkout page. But we also know Woo, uh, WooCommerce is a big part of the WordPress community and we wanted to have, a, have an option for people in that ecosystem to tap into their extensions or if they want to just include courses in a greater store or catalog concept, they could. So that's what we're all about. Check us out at lifterlms.com. And if you look at the roadmap, you can see the details of this uh, release 1.5.0. Thanks, Thomas. See ya. Take care.